our three words, three powerful words. Everybody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Your God weeps. Can you say that with me? Look at someone beside you. Tell that person, your God weeps. Three words. Three words that I hope will be a dagger that will pierce through subconscious pictures of God in your mind. Maybe not everybody, but some of you, you have embedded in your subconscious images of a God that is aloof, that is sitting on a throne in the distance. Maybe with a permanent skull on his face, a displeasure, a repulsion. He is someone who is displeased. And yet here we have three words that we've dug from a story in Genesis, a story that we all know. How many of you have heard of, know of, read about, listened to the story of Noah's Ark? Raise your hand. Thank you. Most of you. Everybody say that again. My God weeps. Let me begin with a story. 2007, I met a man that would change my life forever. He is today my financial mentor. His name, Edward Lee. One of, not, of the most, if not the best stock market trader, investor this country has ever known. A very, very successful business owner. He called me up asked if we could have lunch. What shocked me, by the way, he changed my financial life. But what surprised me was in our first lunch, I learned something very important about parenting. When we began, we were eating in this really expensive restaurant. He was paying. And then he began by saying, Brother Bo, I was born in a not rich family. My mother is a school teacher. My father, he's a door-to-door -door salesman. And that's why I believe that every Filipino can be rich. And so he began with that statement, and I loved it. I really did. And then he said, by the way, I was a very bad student. Are there bad students here? He said, I was failing in school all my life. <laughs> he said, do you know, Brother Bo, that I was so bad in school, I never finished college. I got kicked out. At that moment, a waiter comes along while we were eating. And I figured, you know, this was an expensive restaurant. I figured he, this waiter, had a college degree. And here in front of me was someone who did not and was a billionaire. And so I was curious and I, and I wanted to know, how did that happen? And he went on by saying, you know, I was such a bad student, Brother Bo, that when I, I was out in grade school, I was this overweight kid, always sweating. Every day at class, I would sit in the back to sleep. And then there would be two doors in the classroom, one in the back. And my mother being the teacher in that same school, every day she would go up to the back through the back door, go to me, see me sleeping, pull me out. And then because I was, you know, soaking wet with sweat, she would 
wipe the sweat of my back. And she'd put powder. And then she'd send me back to the classroom. And I would sleep again. And I was wondering, like, how would his parents react to him? <laughs> and so, I said, you really gave a difficult time to your parents. And he said, I gave them hell. It's like I was lazy, I didn't like to go to school, I, I just, I just didn't. And I was failing in most of my subjects. And so I said, did they get angry at you? Did they scold you? Did they shout at you? And his answer stunned me. He said, my mother cried. My mother never shouted, never screamed, never scolded. I just saw her tears. And she would tell me, Anak, hindi ka bobo. Anak, magaling ka. Anak, mahal kita. You know, just, just, just that. And he said, it would happen so often that when my report card comes, and it's, and it's filled with red, and all the failing marks, you know, my mother would just sit down in front of me and start crying. And start saying, Anak, hindi ka bobo. Anak, magaling ka. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the mother would say, I believe in you. The father will do the same thing over and over again. And then my mentor told me, Bo, I am who I am because of the unconditional love of my parents. This was the one ingredient that made me successful in life. Wow. As you listen to my story today, you might be saying to yourself, Brother Bo, hindi ganyan ang magulang. Total opposite. They were the ones who told me, stupid! They were the ones who told me, Bo! They were the ones who told me, walang kwenta ang buhay mo. I know. Father Paolo was talking about that a while ago. We live in a broken, wounded, wounding world. And yet, I am here to tell you the news that there is a God who weeps for you. There is a God who believes in you that when you fail, He weeps. Today, we, we will be talking about Noah's Ark. But before we do,